thank you all for being here. And we continue our relentless effort to defeat the Chinese virus. Before I begin, I want to start by announcing that today we are bringing home another American citizen. It was a big thing, very big. Uh, Omar Fekori is on his way back to the United States after being imprisoned in Lebanon since September of 2019. He's battling late-stage cancer. Mr. Fakori will now be able to receive the much-needed care and treatment in the United States. We've been working very hard to get him freed. And he's finally able to have his entire family at his side. So I'm very grateful to the Lebanese government. They worked with us, and uh, we are very proud of his family. They stood by him so strongly, and they are thrilled. The United States has no higher priority than the safety and well-being of our citizens. We've gotten uh, a tremendous number of hostages out, as you know. I think we're 42-0, and 0, and Robert O'Brien, as you know, was uh, our chief negotiator for a large part of it. In fact, did so well that now we have him in a, a different position. So I want to thank and congratulate Robert and his team, and I want to uh, let everyone know that recovering Americans held captive and imprisoned abroad continues to be a top priority for my administration. Uh, we have one young gentleman, Austin Tice, and we're working very hard with Syria to get him out. We hope the Syrian government will do that. We are counting on them to do that. We've uh, written a letter just recently, but he's been there for a long time, and uh, was captured long ago. Austin Tice, his mother's probably watching, and she's a great lady, and we're doing the best we can. So, Syria, please uh, work with us, and uh, we would appreciate uh, you letting him out. If you think about what we've done, we've gotten rid of the ISIS caliphate. Syria. We've done a lot for Syria. We have to see if uh, they're going to do this. So it would be very much appreciated if they would let Austin Tice out.